friends you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church minister and in this community. Christ abundantly blessed this Lord. He has already consecrated you in baptism and now enrich you and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that you may assume the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Michael and Alena, you have come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage. You will love and honor each other as man and wife for the rest of your lives? I do. I do. You will accept children lovely from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and the church? I do. I do. Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, draw your right hands and declare your consent before God and in His church. I, Michael, I, Michael take, you, Elena, take you, Elena, to be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you, and honor you all, days of my life. all days of my life. I, Alina, take you, Michael, I, Alina, take you, Michael to, be my husband. to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you and honor you. And honor you. All days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord, in His goodness, strengthen your consent and fill you both with His blessing. What God has joined, men must not divide. May the Lord bless these rings which you have given which you give to each other as the sign of your love and fidelity. Amen. Elena, take these rings as a sign of my love, as a sign of my love and, fidelity. and fidelity in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father and the Son, and the, Son and the Holy Spirit. Michael, take this ring as a sign of my love, as a sign of my love and, fidelity. and fidelity in the name of the Father and the Son and the, in the name of the Father and the Son and, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit.
break, let it come down crashing. Let the sun fade out to a dark sky. I can't say that even notice it was absent. Cause I can live by the light in your eyes. I'll unfold before you. But I strung together the very first words of a lifelong love letter. Tell the world that we finally got it all right. I choose you. I will become yours and you will become mine. I choose. to be the other half of you to the world that we finally got it all right I choose Mr. and Mrs. Skyber, without all that you've done and the people that you've raised, none of us would be here. So thank you very much. Thank you. My daughter, Vinzi, told me that I should say that the day you came to live with us was the fourth happiest day of my life. The first being her birth. The second being my marriage to my husband, which happened way before her birth. <laughs> the third was my daughter, Gia. And the fourth was the day you came to live with us. Elena, you're the strongest person I know. We started out as friends in the ER. We then became roommates. And now, we're sisters. I wouldn't have it any other way. Whether it was roasting marshmallows at a bonfire, having 80s parties with the girls and the boys. By the boys, I mean Jackson and Cooper, Elena's dogs, of course. <laughs> Eating veal at Nana's on Easter with Mike. I cherish them all. I couldn't love you more. Michael, I was your first cheerleader. I really was. From your first date, helping her plan your surprise birthday party on your roof. <coughs> Christmas shopping for glasses to replace the red Solo cups because that's all he had in his house. <laughs> your 12 days of Christmas surprise. It was all fun, and I knew you were going to be the one for her. I really believe that you two were a match made in heaven. Let's drink to love, which is nothing unless it's divided by two. To Michael and Elena. Cheers. Elena is my best friend, and 10 years ago, 
we just became instant and instant instant friends and from that moment on we've been taking care of each other with advice with everything and there's just this beautiful energy that she shares with everybody from the moment you walk into a room it's you you can't not be happy and that's my favorite thing about you we've shared many laughs and many tears and as we've grown up together over the last 10 years you've become so mature and so strong the strongest the strongest woman i know i was so happy when she met mike and mike although we haven't shared many moments together yet there has been many late night conversations about you <laughs> specifically how happy you make her and how blessed she feels to have found you and not only you but your beautiful family i wish you two a lifetime of happiness and may every day bring more and more love salute Good evening, everyone. It's always such a pleasure to see family and friends together in one room, and equally a pleasure to meet Elena's family and friends tonight. I'd like to thank all of you for being here to celebrate, and I hope you're ready to have some fun as we honor Michael and Elena on their wedding day. Now to the man of the hour. As many of you know, I'm the youngest of six in my family. Mike Led is the only boy amongst a very powerful brood of women including four sisters and our matriarch mother, Ange, as we lovingly call her. And seven and a half years later, before I joined the family. And with a group like that, obviously, Mike, me, and my dad, we formed a pretty tight bond. For as long as I can remember, I've looked up to my brother. When I was younger, I followed his every move. <laughs> so much so that when I was seven or eight years old, and we shared bunk beds and table, <laughs> One night when we, were sleep <laughs> when we were sleeping, Mike woke up suddenly and proclaimed, Ed, we gotta get the heck out of here. Middle of the night. And proceeded to get out of his bed, jump over to the window, kick out the screen, <laughs> and basically did a belly flop out onto the, onto the concrete outside. <laughs> kinda crazy, kinda crazy. Um, I, looked up to my, I looked up to my brother so much, so naturally, uh, I, I jumped out of bed too, and I, I walked over to the window, and without really thinking about it, I jumped out right, be, right behind him. No, everything, everyone came out okay. Everyone came out okay. Uh, there was nothing wrong in my house, and just shortly after my mom realized everything was okay, we realized Mike had been sleepwalking, which is crazy, but. <laughs> this was not the last time I followed in my brother's shoes or followed his footsteps, but let's just say now I proceed with caution. Look, I could probably stand up here for hours telling funny, embarrassing stories about Mike, as I'm sure we all have a couple. <laughs> but what I really want to say tonight is what I admire most about my brother. This is his determination. Mike is unwilling to settle for anything less than what he wants. And I pray for anyone who has ever been on the other side of that in, this court, in the courtroom. <laughs> he does not back down. Mike's determination is a factor in who he's become and the success that he's had. And he's been that, that way since we were kids. I remember when Mike and I were in high school and I was 11 or 12 at the time, he would constantly be bugging me to go outside and feed him 100 shots, as he called it, which basically consisted of me chasing the ball around for a few hours and passing it back to him so he could perfect his jump shot. While I, hate, I didn't really hate it, but while you know, it ticked me off when I was a kid, I remember how determined he was to be the best shooter in Suffolk County. And, and you know what? He really was. He really was. Or later in life, when Mike in his later 20s or early 30s decided that you know, finance wasn't for him anymore and he wanted something you know, different and he went back to school and became a lawyer. And since then, I don't think he's ever been happier. He's built a very successful practice here in Connecticut and, and he's doing amazing. And then the same went for his love life. You know, Mike, he brought some girls around, but never anyone too serious, which could have been for many reasons, <coughs> my sisters, but... Um, <laughs> Really, I think it's just a, I really think it's just a reflection on his unwillingness to settle for anything that, but, than the best. That's why when I heard that he brought Elena over to my parents' beach house, I knew this was someone special. 
Mike had met one, the, the one, and then I knew he was in love. And um, over the past year, watching these two swoon over each other, taking selfies and traveling the world, that fact was confirmed, from it, confirmed to me. I couldn't be happier for my brother and Elena to have found each other. Elena, you are a truly kind and beautiful person. And just the fact that you survived the weekend at the Shore House, I know, I know you're up to the task. You have made my brother a better person. You have become part of our family. I'm excited to have you as my sister-in-law and to raise our kids, which are due only a few days apart in February. I don't know if I was supposed to say that, but I did. Um, I'm so happy for you both. I love you, and good luck. Cheers to Michael and Elena. I treasure the love and laughter you give to my beautiful daughter. I know Elena loves you with all her heart. You are her true friend and true love. Together you create a wonderful family. Elena, now that you are grown, I may not hold your hand each day, but I will always hold on to your heart. For to quote E.E. E. Cummings, I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I love you. And so, Elena and Michael, it is with great love, joy, and pride that I stand here today to wish you a blessed life full of happiness, joy, and much laughter. 